10-year note yields end the week moving lower, today getting below 420 for the first time since February 13th. On the day that we saw a higher than expected CPI push yields higher. Last Friday, we saw yields head up as far high as 434, so it's been quite the reversal getting down to 418 to close today. As a lot of things are going on, the economic data comes in mixed. However, hearing from Fed speakers for the last several weeks talking about the need to keep rates elevated, and then today hearing from one Fed governor, Waller, talking about the need to possibly tweak the quantitative tightening and add short-term treasuries back to their balance sheet, got kind of got treasury yields moving south. And we saw that not only in 10-year, but in two-year, but seeing a big shift lower, getting back below 420 to end the week, lowest we've seen since February 13th. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. And volatility, which has remained elevated after moving higher when yields moved higher, back on February 23rd, getting as high as 434, we did see volatility moving higher as well. However, seeing volatility start to move lower as yields move lower, that historical relationship that we've come and talked about quite, quite a few times over the last uh, few months, volatility, while it does remain elevated, was lower on the day, settling near unchanged on the week. Lastly, let's talk about what we have next week. We do have our, our weekly data points. We do have some Fed speakers, but the two key points that we're going to look at are going to be uh, the Fed chair's testimony to Congress. He'll speak to the House and the Senate about the, it's his semi-annual testimony. Likewise, we'll also get the jobs report on Friday. So ADP Wednesday, claims Thursday, jobs Friday. And then we get in the middle of the week, we get Mr. Powell talking, likely going to echo some of the comments about quantitative tightening and potential for rate cuts down the road. But ultimately, the market will be listening with both ears. Uh, treasuries, which have seen yields move higher for most of 2024, did see a pullback today. So it'll be interesting to see how they react when the chair speaks. So ending the week, we see Treasury yields moving lower, back below 420 for the first time since CPI earlier in February, out of next week's Powell semi-annual testimony and the jobs and the jobs report.